Getting music, videos, and other media from websites and smartphone apps is easy and fun. But how do I make sure I get what I want safely and legally so it's fair to my favorite artists? Here are some tips for how to do it right so you get your media from trusted and ethical sources. First, you can generally trust reputable commercial sites to deliver media legally and safely. These places are already trusted by a large online community. Second, there are some websites that have put together lists of lawful media sources. Educause links to lawful sites for all kinds of media. Why Music Matters lists music options. What about games? For games, the Entertainment Software Association and Steam keep lists of good players. Also, if you're looking for photos and images you can download and reuse, there's Flickr and Wikimedia Commons and stock photo sites like Shutterstock and iStock Photo. Remember, Google's Advanced Image Search offers a really handy tool that lets you set specific usage rights so that it will find images you're free to reuse. But what if I'm looking at a website and I'm not sure if the music and movies there are legal? How do you know? Well, you could start by checking to see if the site is included on the lists we talked about, like Educause, Why Music Matters, Beyond that, you're going to have to use your critical thinking skills, because there won't be a warning label that says, this site is engaging in copyright infringement. It takes practice to spot the difference between honest and dishonest distributors. For example, it's likely illegal if it claims to have new content, like TV, movies, music, and games, before they've been released. Okay, that makes sense. Or if it encourages you to upload your own media to share, especially through a service that is known to encourage illegal file sharing. If it's a downloading or streaming site that allows you to download or stream everything for free, often these are based outside the United States and have to move around to different countries when governments discover their illegal activity. Also, if it's a virtually unknown site and has pricing that seems strange or too good to be true. If it has ads for adult products, or content that seems inappropriate for teens. If it misspells the names of famous artists and titles, reputable sites get the details right. Or if it lists many different links for the particular thing you're looking for, trustworthy sites don't do this. If you see any of these clues, that's generally a pretty good sign that the site does not have permission from the artist or a license to distribute that media. On the flip side, Honest distributors generally... Let me guess. They spell the names of artists and titles correctly. Right. They only show one link to the work you want. Yep. They're a well-known company and trusted by a large online community. Uh-huh. They don't offer everything for free. Right. In general, legitimate sites do not offer every type of media. Songs, TV shows, movies, software, apps from an obscure or unknown platform. The trustworthy companies that have a wide variety of content types are the names you already know. Amazon, Netflix, Spotify, etc. So, next time you go to download a song, movie, TV show, app, or any other kind of media, ask yourself, does this site seem legitimate or does something seem fishy? And, does it seem likely that this site works with artists and creators to get permission to share their work? Getting our media from legitimate sources helps make the internet a better place for everyone. Got it. Click forward to learn more.